Never take no for an answer, keep going, just breathe Just, just breathe Breathe Submission grappling Woo! Let's take this thing higher Higher than you ever been Stand tall like Everest I mean higher You ain't gotta settle in Go places they never been We go higher Non-stop Take it to the top Even when the ball drops My man I knew he's coming over <laughs> I am or not? I'll get the depth now, the camera's on. <laughs> Dead to me, so I'll be buried. Moody Diddy Moya on the side, your head of me. Crunch is on her back. Dead to me, I'll be buried. Moody Diddy Moya on the side, your head of me. First off, we're gonna engage in our color toys. We're gonna engage in color toys. Looks get both inside, so we've got inside tie this up. See so how my hand is curled over? My elbow down, and this hand is going to be over his head here. I'm going to get this leg forward, so I'm going to start circling the weight from the leg as I pull it forward here. I go up, and then I'm looking to drive to my knee on the outside here. From here, I push up this leg, and I drive, and I take my single leg position here. So I go again. Now, if he color toys me before I get a chance, look to step this leg back to swim in with this arm. Now we're here in this position. Pull him away, bring him up, step, draw him to my knee, pivot on the angle, we're up, and we're here now in this positioning for our single leg. Okay? When I'm holding the single leg, I've got my scooping arm, my reinforcing, elbows tight, I've got my knees bent, my hips back, my head is up, and I've got like an arch back. Yeah? Remember what we did in the last class? One, two, three. Just being able to get used to moving in that single leg position. One more time. We're here, and I've got both inside. I pull, drive, whoa, here. One, two, three. Yeah? Bye bye. Let's go. Wait up. Time of the nail. Just, he's still doing the same thing, but we're just out of finish on We're just gonna, uh, we're just gonna hit a dump. So our opponent's gonna whiz us. So in the MMA class last, we did it. If our opponent's not reacting, then we're lifting the leg. But the common response when somebody gets a single leg is they get something called a wizard. Yeah. So like I'm here with Garrett. I'm here. I've pulled this leg forward. I've dropped my level. I've angled out. I've come up. And then my opponent's gonna take a wizard here. Well, that does, it connects him to me, and it stops me from lifting his leg all the way up. Yeah? Whereas if he didn't have his wizard, that would be quite easy to do, but we did it in the last class. So we're here with the wizard now. Because he's connected more to me, I'm going to take a step back with my right leg, I'm going to drive him down, and I'm going to hit I'm going to end up in this little open guard base positioning now, which is where we want to be. So look, same thing again. I meant to there, drive, already up. Here, he whizzes. Yeah? So look, I'm gonna take a step back on my right leg. As I take a step back on my right leg, it's almost like I'm gonna look between my own legs. Now we're here, I can back out. I'm gonna open guard, you're gonna keep the tag out. Yeah. You wanna say that, you cool? Okay. One more time. So look, pull in, dry, angle, up. He's whizzed, so look. Take a step back to make this more effective. Walk forward. One, two, three, down. Yeah, see how that's more effective? Because when I introduce more motion, it's harder for him to defend. Yeah, if I do it static, it might be easier for him to defend. But if I introduce more motion, it's harder. But don't try and swing around your legs and stuff like that. You want to make sure you're going down between your own legs. Okay? Try that. Here we go. No, we don't. You mind coming for your bitch boys ready Dead to me, with no hell marries You need to put body more, no packing necessary Moody dirty more, you're on the side, you're here to meet it Moody go go go, you're sweet, you're passing, here to pee Cause you might have made your body better Right, so we want to pass
past is God. So we're going to revisit some of the leg pin passes that we've been doing because I really enjoy it. I really like it. And there's a few <coughs> passes I want to show you from this position. So when I'm engaging in this open guard, I want locked arms and pushing on his knees. My locked arms, my legs are back. So we can't reach my legs. This is quite important. So I don't want him to engage in my deli heaver or reverse deli heaver or whatever. Now I'm in like a guard and I have to defend. I, I, want to, I want to make sure that I'm always going away. If I feel like he's reaching for a leg and my leg's too close, just bail out and reset and go again. If he's sat up in like a supine guard sort of position, we can hand fight, head fight. And realistically, I want to get him back into this position with my hand, my arms, I don't care if he does this. If my, my arms are straight and my legs are back, so I can't reach my legs. Now from this position, I want us to get used to flanking my opponent. So when I flank my opponent, I'm gonna walk and flank here. Now look, my leg goes on his leg. Yeah, so I'm pinning his leg to the mat. And then you can get used to pulling this out a little bit, swapping the leg to the other side here. Yeah, so you've got two different positions. So this is what I want us to do, just get used to switching from side by side, as well as different postures and stuff that he's going to be doing. So over here, I can go around this way. As the leg hits the mat, I'm looking to step on the leg with my toes pointed out. Not here, it's not the same. You want to be here, and then sort of stretching that leg out a little bit. Okay, so we go again this side. If he sat up, like I said, Make sure he doesn't get in, y'all. Come on the heels, pull him back, we come round, step on the leg, pull the leg out. I'm stepping on the leg here to reset the other way. Look, step across, I'm pinning the leg. Yeah, I'm always keeping one control on that leg. It means he's only got one leg to stop me from passing my guard. Yeah, one more time. I always like to go this way, I'm shit that way. Is that here? Step from here, pull this a little bit. Now it's harder for him to use that leg whatsoever. The more bent that leg is, he can pull that to his bum a little easier. The straighter that leg is, it's harder for him to do so. Oh, missed it, guys. Yeah, just to here. Okay, and then disengage and ramp. I want us to do two minutes with each person. So I'm going to do two minutes moving around Gareth, getting into this leg pin positioning, and then resetting and keep going again. And then after the two minutes, it's going to be Gareth's turn. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay? Let's give it a go. Five, leg out, 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 leg uh, we did some other passes last week on leg drags and stuff like that. We're gonna look at some like stack and over under and stuff like that as well. So look, we're here, I'm still getting my angle. Still my legs are my, my legs are back, my arms are straight, and I'm here. I've dragged him out. I'm in this sort of positioning here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come back inside, and we're here now in this positioning. Okay? I'm already ready to bring my head on the inside now on this leg. So look, I'm already here. See my leg sort of goes down this way now. Yeah? My elbow's tight, and I'm already ready to look to start passing. I can put a bit of pressure in, use my hand on the top of the head, come this way, come my underhook past this side, I can take my leg off there and start driving in from a traditional pass, but I'm already ready to start to look to pass the guy. So look, we're here, drive this side, here, drag that leg, come this side, we're here in this positioning. So like I said, I want to get my head to here, so my arm comes in, I'm here in this positioning here, my leg stays on top of his leg, yeah? Putting a bit of pressure in, my, my knees are off the floor. Now look, this arm can come behind the back of my head and bring his leg off my head. See, I'm already around to the other side. This arm now can come to the floor, I can reach for his head, and I can pass well. I can connect it to him. One more time, just change the angle a little bit. There we go. That's right. Look here. 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 
Moving this round, look, my arm goes round, driving here. My leg's staying on top of his leg. I'm putting a bit of pressure in, it's almost like I'm trying to get him to do the splits. Which I can't do. Yeah, my arm's coming off. Now look, going to the hip, going to the back of the head. Now I'm going to drive and pass. Yeah, a lot of times he's going to give you that pass, it's like it's uncomfortable for him. Yeah, we all cool? Let's try that, let's give it a go. Most of you got pressure. That's it. Yeah, there we go. Pressure. That's it, man. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Somebody trying to come inside, they might be trying to invert your legs, like playing legs with you. So we're quite far away. I've come here. He's not going to, it's mainly this leg here. And if he tries to come underneath and you might grab the outside of my leg, he's going to try and pull me underneath him. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
I've made it. I've made it this time. See where we are? We're here, trying to stay heavy. I want to smoosh this leg across in the next three if I can. I'm pinning his knees together. I don't want this knee flaring out, so that could be potentially dangerous for me. I want to smoosh his knees together. This leg's going to come across. Start hitting my smash pass. Leg comes behind. Arm comes behind. And that's the guy. Okay? That's the one. Give it a go. Nice, good. That feel better. That makes way more cool. So now we're going to do a bit of live practice with our partners. So we're going to start from, I want you to start like this. So we're going to get a few rounds in with our partners. We're going to get three three minute rounds with different partners. I want you to start like this, we're slapping bolt like this. My job is to pass his guard. His job is to sweep me or submit me. If we, we, or my foot comes off for any reason, we'll just carry on from open guard. I mean, I'm, I'm letting you start with the advantage. If you lose your advantage, I'm not going to give you your back again. Yeah? So we'll start here. You ready? Go. Yeah? Does that make sense? I pass. Uh, we reset. I'll go on bottom. He goes on top. Ready? Go. Yeah. So, so you're the camera. Oh, that's it, yeah. <laughs> okay. And then we'll do three rounds of different partners. His job is to pass my guard. My job is to sweep us away. We'll swap over every time. Standing up, walking around, roll our shoulders. 
Standing on the wall, counting out so the back on the shoulders. Uh, that's a bit of leg pin passing for a pin in half an hour, I uh, I put on the members group a while back uh, a passing study by Ty and Kate Matulo that they use this passing all the time so if you want to look into that like that it's really good. Knees up. Why do you want to do cool dance on the camera views? Oh, I've started doing cool dance with the classes actually. Yeah. You don't listen to me. It does them all the time. Oh. Right guys, long enough on the yellow wall we'll get a quick pick. And then we'll go down the line. Really good, <laughs> good class, everybody. Good class.